Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, June 16th, 2015. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 191. A couple very small things to share with you this week. Not a whole lot, but a few. I uh, just wanted to let you know that I did finally get to the post office yesterday. And I did have one additional package that went out. Some of the crafting I did this past week was just spur of the moment. Decide to do a little surprise package for someone. She is not a member of the TTMT family, but she is a family member of a member of TTMT. So, decide to send her a little surprise package, and I hope she enjoys it. I did take a picture, and I will share that with you next week. So, let me get on to what I do have to share with you. First off, I showed you a book I pre-ordered that I got in the mail last week. It's The Adventures in Mochi Mochi Land. And so far I have done three little things out of it. So I'll show you those. And they are tiny. These are all done in sock yarn that I just had laying around just to kind of mess with it. So first up, I have a little crab. There he is. There's the bottom. There's the top. You can see his little bitty eyeballs, little blue eyes. And he is done using the Deborah Norville Serenity Sock Yarn, and the color is Harlequin. And he's tiny. Look at these. Look how small these little guys are. <laughs> so there's Krabby. Next up, I did a, a, a gum gum bear. And this gum gum bear is four different flavors of gummy because he decided he didn't want to be all one flavor but this is done using sock yarn from my January mini crate so here he is he's a tiny little guy and uh, yeah he's a gum gum there's his little ears I forgot his tail yeah, forgot his tail but it's done no different than his little ears and his little nose are done so there's him, and he's really cute. He's ready to go, except for, like I said, his tail. And then the last one I did is even smaller than those. <laughs> Let's hope I can, because this is tiny, tiny, tiny. So it's a mallow, buddy. <laughs> this is a rainbow mallow because he didn't want to be all one flavor, but this is actually done using, I think it's a Lion brand Sockies. So... He naturally stripes, but very, very tiny, tiny little guy. So, and this was a lot of fun to do. These are actually, they're pretty neat. The most, you know, tedious part of this is his little legs and his little arms. But once you get the hang of it, I actually changed the way it's done. Because I like, you know, I didn't like the way it was looking. So, I changed the way the arms and legs were done. So that's it for those. Next up, just a couple stitch markers I have to share that I made. There's this one, which it's really hard to see these. Get up here. So this has just got a little heart-shaped bead with a flower pattern, a crystal bead, and then just a little green heart. Then we have this one which it's kind of hard to see this one because it's so pink but they're a little bit of white it looks almost like uh, the pattern on the bead looks like cherry blossoms but it's hard to see so and then we have this one which is a little easier to see it's just a, a heart or a yeah a flower bead with the two other nice little turquoise beads so that's it. Other than that, like I said, some of the crafting I did went off in the mail this week. So uh, that's it. Um, I will hopefully be casting on a pair of socks this week, tonight at work. I have to write down the pattern yet from the chart because, like I said, <laughs> it's a pain in the neck to actually work off the chart. So... But that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, because the lighting wasn't all that great when I recorded the video of the May minis, the fabric, the needles that I had wanted to share with you. I'm actually going to re-record that real quick and put that after this video. So just going to attach the two because this one's so short. 
So anyway, that being said, before it gets any longer, I do look forward to watching everyone's videos. I do hope you all have a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend. As for me, I'm out. Going to go record that. Get this ready to be edited and uploaded this evening. And as for you, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever it is. I really do hope it's a great one, and I'll see you all next week. Bye! Hey everyone, just wanted to share with you real quick my May Minis, the fabrics that we purchased at Joyens, and some new needles that I had purchased. And I'm going to try and make this fast because my battery and my camera is getting down there. So, uh, let me just run through the May Minis real quick. First off, they are Ceridwin Sock by Wooly Wonka. And it's 100% Superwash Merino. So, that's cool. So I'm going to show you the colors real quick. There's this one, this one, this one looks very familiar, <laughs> probably had the same idea as someone else at one point. This, this, and she had kind of a bit of a blue theme in some of these going, that, that. Three more to go. I love this one. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Some of these are similar. I'm looking at them and I'm saying, geez, they look kind of similar to other ones I've gotten in a past crate. But very pretty. Very pretty yarns. They're very, very soft. I'm just having trouble deciding what's going, what I'm going to use for my zigzag scarf. So there's my minis. Next up, I'm going to share with you the fabric that I got. First off, I actually purchased three skeins of yarn when we went to Joann's, and everything was like 50% off or on clearance. I purchased the two skeins of sock yarn that I used to make my Auntie Betty Aaron socks. And I also purchased this. It's Pearl Essence Luxury. Absolutely beautiful. And the name of it, of course, is Beautiful Posy, but it's very, very soft and fuzzy. And I'm thinking squazzle. So <laughs> I believe that was on clearance for dirt cheap. So the next up is the fabric. So we'll start with fat quarters. Got this one with the kitties. I got these two. These were on clearance. It says 97 cents. So they're actually basically the same pattern, only this is light and this is dark. So very pretty colors there. I got these ones, got hearts, got little eggs and chickies, and I got two of these, which is just kitty cats and flowers and mice, and then there's some like fish bones and stuff on it too, so I got two of those. And then this was actually in the remnants bin, and I paid less than a dollar for this. And there's quite a bit of fabric there, but it's got whales and everything on it. So I thought that was cool. Make something kind of bigger with that. Then I purchased this. This was almost also in the clearance. It's just a fat, this is called fat eighths, and it's all just polka dot fabric. So I thought that was neat. And then I got this fat quarter bundle. It's just pastels in yellow, pink, purple, green, and blue. And I purchased this fat quarter bundle, which has fairies on it. Love the little fairies. And then it has, of course, the coordinating fabrics to go with it. So, And then my daughter purchased this one, which has the different wildlife animals on it. Whoops, upside down here. Let's show you that. There's a hedgehog and there's a fox there. Then you got these guys over here. And of course, the coordinating fabrics in that. So that was it from Joann's. Um, if I purchased anything else, I don't remember. <laughs> so the last thing I want to share with you is a set of needles that I purchased. An advertisement came up on my one of my daughter's pages, and it was offering 
uh, bamboo circulars for $3.99 a pair. You can't beat that anywhere. So I went looking and I actually found a set of circular needles. I believe it is a 40 inch cord. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think it's a 40 inch cord. But a set that ranges from zero all the way up to 15 for $25. Now, I know for $25, I wasn't expecting, you know, grandiose, you know, high quality, this, that. But I am pretty pleased with the quality. And I also, for just under, just over 11 purchased this, which is a case to hold them all in. And there's all the needles. So, um, yeah, I, they're, the only concern I have with these is how much weight they would be able to bear because of the construction of them. The needles are nice and soft and smooth. The joins are really good, but I'm going to show you. That's the join right there. It's just this goes right up over the end. Um, I can't see it coming loose, but you know, I wouldn't push the issue too much either with too much weight. But I love the cord. The cords relax very quickly right out of the package that's one of the problems i have with circular needles is that the cords tend to sometimes be stiff and for me you know it's i like something that smooths out nicely so i can't complain like i said zero to size 15. i have looked and looked and looked for a set of circular needles and a lot of them to be honest start at two and go up but very few. I don't think I've seen until now one that actually started at zero. So really pleased with it. I'm happy with it. I'm not going to complain. Like I said, for $25, the quality is just fine. And for what I'm going to use it for, it's not a problem. Plus it was free shipping and handling on orders over 15. So the case, the needles cost me less than $35. Or yeah, just over 35. Sorry. <laughs> So anyway, that's it. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. I'm actually going to put this at the end of the TTMT video from today. So enough rambling. Time for me to go. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, I will put the link to the site in the description. They do have other needles and things that you can purchase from there. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, it is Stitchberry is the name of the site but I will put a link in the description for anyone interested. So other than that, that's it. I'm out of here. Uh, yeah, it's over seven minutes. I got to go. Anyway, hope you all enjoy your day, and I'll see you next week. Bye.